Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-monthlies with me. This is Brooke. Welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to apologize for not getting out your July general monthly tarot forecast, but here I am with your mid-monthlies to see what the energies are for July towards the end of the month. I'm going to be doing a five card reading with the Tarot of the Witches deck that I've had for a very long time. You can tell it's boxes falling apart. And uh, thanks so much for joining me. Please watch for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign in this reading. Also, if you haven't subscribed, why not? There's a million of us on YouTube now, so you should subscribe to me because you never know what kind of mood I'm going to be in for your monthly reading. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And also check out me on social media, Nightbird Tarot, Facebook, Instagram, as well as my magical page, Sacred Emerald Grove. So if you're a magical, witchy type of person, you have to go over there and check it out. So let's get started. You did have a card fall out while I was shuffling, which is the Four of Cups. I'm going to keep this to the side. So that did fall out while I was shuffling. I haven't peeked at the deck. So it's a surprise for me as well, but I have pre-shuffled. So let's see what's in store for Gemini for mid-month July. So I'm going to take a look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Cups. You already have another queen. Actually, you have quite a few people in your reading this month, Gemini. So the Queen of Cups has come in. She's the mother figure of the Tarot deck. She could possibly be a water sign female. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So for me, the Queen of Cups is very much the nurturer, very compassionate. There could be mother figures involved in the month of July. There also could be significance when it comes to your own mothers, mother figures. This could be yourselves, Gemini, if you're taking on the role as mother or taking on the role as both mother and father. Some sort of compassion some sort of nurturing, unconditional love. She's very intuitive, the Queen of Cups as well. So this could be very representative of perhaps empathic people, other tarot readers, psychics, etc. So the Queen of Cups is very imaginative, dreamy, creative, the nurturer. She's very intuitive as well. So the Queen has shown up. Many readers will read the bottom of the card of the bottom of the deck because it's the essence of a tarot reading and as I like to call it the creamy nougat so the Queen of Cups has shown up so let's begin with your theme or the atmospheric element position as I like to call it and we see the chariot the chariot card is major arcana is very bold he's driven he not he's unstoppable Gemini you're unstoppable Mid-month July, this could be coming into the month of July. You're very unstoppable. There also could be very much something associated with travel as well. So the chariot card is very much about courage, very much about being driven, very much about being in control of your life's destiny or perhaps going after something. Much courage is associated with this card as well. So that's good to see. So Gemini is coming into the month of July, very driven, very courageous, very bold, going after what you want. So that's a great card to see beginning your reading. Now coming out of the most recent energies, we see the Valet of Batons. Well, this is the Page of Wands in a traditional Tarot deck. The page in particular, and you have two pages, these could be children for many. These could be actual children. It's a youthful energy, more youthful or younger than the knights. The page of batons or the page of wands in particular is very much about messaging. Coming out of the most recent past for Gemini, messaging, good news has arrived in some form or fashion, which has very much enabled you to move forward with great determination great courage, and a drive of some kind. So there's been good news coming or has come in for Gemini to enable you to progress in some fashion, which is great to see. 
something very much connected to relationships is very much on the table for Gemini mid-month July or even in the month of July. Very much about relationships, very about emotions or close connections with others. This could be on a romantic level, this could be a work situation, this could be friendships, family. So with two pages in a reading, pages are very significant of situations, okay, when you see a prominence of pages, this also could be once again associated with children. So the page of batons essentially would be a fire sign child. The page of cups would be essentially a water sign child. So there could be elements associated with children and once again with situations. The page of cups in particular is very dynamic when it comes to relationships, emotions connected to relationships. This is very much about perhaps reconnecting. This could be finding out about yourself with another person. This could be something of a new, taking it to another level, essentially, a birth of some kind, birth of new ideas, birth of an enterprise. There's a birth of some kind of new emotion or something on a feeling type of level. So Gemini, you're really feeling where you are right now. It's palpable. You like where you are in your life, perhaps, for many that are watching. And it's something that's very much nurturing, going back to the Queen of Cups that was on the bottom of the deck. There's a new quality for Gemini of feeling. Whether this is in your life, work, passion, job, career, family situation, relationships. There's also, this could be for many, even literally, the birth of a child for many that are watching because this is a general reading. It will be very different for each of you. So there's also perhaps even a renewal of some kind, especially if Gemini, and I've noticed in your readings, you've been going through a lot emotionally in relationships or with situations and circumstances in the first six months of the year. So this is a very great card to see. Now the challenge for many is the Eight of Cups. The challenge for many is the Eight of Cups. Walking away from something, a final exit, letting go, okay, is still there for Gemini. The ability to enable yourself to allow yourself the freedom to let go or giving something up. Many of you perhaps have moved on or, of course, are trying to move on with a chariot card, very driven, very much wanting to move forward in a certain situation. The challenge for Gemini may be letting go, walking away, a final exit, leaving something behind, leaving past feelings behind, leaving past emotions behind, leaving past regrets or disappointments behind as well. So there's a truth of a situation that you faced, perhaps Gemini, but now the challenge is kind of letting that go, giving yourself the freedom to let it go. So this is where it begins. The work begins for Gemini this month. The Eight of Cups to me for my studies is very much a lunar card, 28 days to a month's time, of a final exit, of walking away from something, of walking out of it, of removing yourself from something that was not emotionally beneficial, was not emotionally serving, was not meeting your frequency or your vibrations, and you're letting that go. And that's where the challenge is for Gemini of letting that go. Now, we do have a queen, another queen in the reading, but she's in the outcome position. This could be a potential fire sign female. Now, the queen and the outcome very much dependent upon perhaps another person and the outcome of events. This also could be characteristics or qualities, Gemini, male or female, that you're taking on yourselves this month, mid-month July to the end of the month. The Queen of Batons or the Queen of Wands, she is expressive. She's dynamic. She's charismatic. She walks into the room, uh, very much has this persona about her. She's a go-getter. She gets things done. She's very fiery. She's very ambitious. So keep, keep on keeping on, Gemini, with the chariot. And this type of energy of this queen is very much about going after what you want this month and being unstoppable. This also could be elements of an actual person 
for many that may actually play a pivotal role in events this month. So fire sign female could potentially be for Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This also could be perhaps a male fire sign as well. Now the card that jumped out, we see the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is boredom. The Four of Cups is also feeling jaded. Something's being offered or has been offered to Gemini. Many of you may be very excited about this, but at the same time may be a bit apprehensive or a bit jaded because it's not coming across as being shiny, glossy, glittery, and new, and maybe coming across as being kind of ordinary and mundane. The message is, is to allow yourselves to accept what is being offered because there may be a benefit for yourself, for your family, for other people behind something that doesn't come across as being all flashy and glittery and glamorous. So let's pull some more cards. We have the Queen, the King of Swords has shown up. This is air sign. This could be for you, Gemini yourselves, male or female. He's a major decision maker, very diplomatic, this king. So Gemini, you're very much making decisions for yourself this month of wanting to release a burden of some kind of moving away from that, moving away from disappointment as well. We see temperance has shown up, very much about diverse organizations, diverse relationships, harmony, trying to cultivate a sense of awareness, whether it's in your job, career, friendships, relationships, very much a beneficial card of healing as well when we see temperance. And here's another core card. You have it. <laughs> plethora of people in your reading this month and we see the king of wands or the king of batons he is very much also a go-getter as well he's very charismatic he can be a great talker he's very imaginative very creative type of person so this could be the element for an actual person that plays out in events so what's up with this guy so we have the five of swords there could be conflict with this person perhaps that could be playing itself out in the month of July. When you see the Five of Swords, understand that you need to understand your limitations when it comes to this person. And then we have the Four of Wands. Uh, the Four of Wands to me is very much about relationships, marriages, proposals, engagements. It's very much about building a home, buying a home, starting over, building a new foundation, etc. And then we end with the Wheel of Fortune. That's all I'm going to pull. <laughs> I'll be here for days. So the Wheel of Fortune has come in. Your cycle is changing this month, Gemini. You're very much going into something that is more you, very much synced up with you, whether this is karmically, whether this is destined, predestined, if you believe in that. You feel it. Once again, it's palpable. There's something that's being matched up with your frequency, especially for ones that have perhaps even traveled to move, to relocate, whether you're traveling to visit a different country for the first time and the experience has left you with this renewed sense of reliving a dream or, or captivating you in some aspect that you just kind of have a fresh start or better inspiration about yourself. So yeah, Gemini, very much about situations this month, very much about moving forward, very much about accepting what is being offered, very much about letting go as well. And there's a lot of people in your reading. This queen in particular could very much be a significator card for you, or this could be an actual person who is beneficial or is part of the events from mid-July to the end of the month. So the message is, is to persevere, to persevere and to be humble and to be gracious about where you are and to keep on keeping on for you, Gemini, because you really seem to be on some sort of path or pathway that has now opened up. So good luck to you, Gemini. Keep me posted. If you'd like to book a private session, email me, nightbirdterra at gmail.com or check out my website in the links below. Have a great mid-month. Many peace, many peace, many blessings, and much peace. And I'll speak to you soon.